I just, I just can't understand how, how anyone could be so mean. <laughs>
like I, li I literally don't know what they were trying to accomplish I'm just like whatever so I just deleted the message didn't click on the picture and they had to go a step further and they had to comment on one of my pictures uh, actually it was a video from my what I eat on a cheat day video and um, I was eating some vegan donuts so I just had it like at my mouth like here and that was the the cover photo and then they just posted a bunch of like throwing up emojis like Bleh! like three times and I'm just like oh my goodness are we in kindergarten really so <laughs> of course that being the only comment on there I just went ahead and delete it because I'm like I'm not I worked really hard to put together that like 30 second footage and it took me a long time to figure out how to upload it to Instagram correctly I was like there's no way I'm letting someone stain my work of art just because they're upset that I'm against animal cruelty like that's ridiculous and I understand that people have jobs trust me I understand that people work at slaughterhouses and I know they work in the animal and the animal agriculture industry or they sell fur I understand that but that does not mean I agree with it that does not mean I'm okay with it and that doesn't mean that I'm not going to speak up against it because I don't think it's right to justify anything that's hurting an innocent living being because of money or because of a job or for there's no reason there's no excuse that could possibly make me agree with or be okay with something that I feel is terribly wrong and I just think it's so funny that vegans have such a bad rap for being these like angry pushy aggressive people and yes some are and a lot of people in the world that's their personality they're a more they come off as more aggressive like I understand that but if only people knew what it was like on our side as well I mean we get a lot of threats and like bullying cyberbullying uh, in-person bullying it's difficult sometimes and even someone like me I try to be very patient and positive even I have to snap back sometimes and stand up you know not only for the animals but I also have to stand up for myself I don't let people talk to me or treat me like that I'm really thankful that on most social media sites you can just block someone and that's what I did I blocked them because I'm like I'm not gonna sit here and let you harass me for doing something that I think is right if I want to have a vegan channel or a vegan Instagram or vegan anything social media that's my choice if they want to have something about how much they love eating meat and how much they like trapping fur then they can do that. I'm not the one who's going over and harassing them. I'm just expressing myself, freedom of speech, in my own space. I'm not crossing over to other people and badgering them. So I just want people to think about that. <laughs> like I literally said and did nothing to this person, but I guess I was important enough that they felt that they had to reach out to me and give me a piece of their mind which I just, I just really don't care. I'm like, they think that they're upsetting me. And if I get upset, it's not because of me. Like, I don't care if anybody hates me. I don't care if someone tells me, go F yourself. I don't know who that person is. I don't care. I can't tell them from Adam. I like, literally don't know you. And I obviously don't want to know you. And I don't care about you. So you're your comments your thoughts to me they mean nothing you can tell me i'm ugly you can tell me i'm fat you can tell me i'm worthless it means nothing coming from a stranger especially online i don't even know who you are veganism to me represents love kindness and most importantly compassion it's like all we want to do is just make a better world we want to stand for something we believe in even if we're standing alone we want to be the change that we want to see in the world. And for that alone, just being vegan, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate. And I think it's a good thing because I think that means I'm actually making a difference. That means people are hearing me and they're seeing me and they're acknowledging me. And not truly me, just what I represent, which is a voice for the voiceless, for those animals. I know it doesn't really have to do with me, it just has to do with what I stand for. People in our society today who are considered an activist, who are fighting whatever fight they were deciding to fight in all categories, when they're making a major change, like Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King Jr., they were not loved people of their day. 
it took a really long time afterwards for us to really understand what they were saying, hear what they were saying, appreciate, and put it into place. And I think that's, I know that's what veganism is. I would love to see a dramatic change before I'm old and gray and before I leave this world, but if not, at least I know I tried. I did what I thought was right and I maybe influenced some people, made some kind of a difference, and saved at least a few animals, and that's good enough. So the reason why I want to make this video, and I didn't know I was going to till I was on PETA and something reminded me of my first hate comment and I just kind of laughed and I was like, huh, I can make a video about this, is I just want you to know if you're vegan and you're getting all this hate, just stay strong, remember it's nothing to do with you, it has to do with the other person and their opinions and feelings and they're just taking it out on you for what you represent. And just stand strong for those animals. We don't stand up for them who will.